had a, a lovely weekend this weekend. Uh, Friday and Saturday were uh, quite dull and cold, but it didn't stop me doing a, a lot of tidying up that I needed to do on the plot, which I've uh, now done. I've been to the tip and I've had a load of rubbish. There's still a lot more to go, but uh, at least I made a start. I've um, tied my man cave up in here, which now I'm uh, like home from home again. Uh, tidy my tool uh, shed out so I know where all my tools are ready now. Uh, I can just uh, go in there, pick them up and, and use them before. Everything was just thrown in uh, as the winter got on. Things just got shoved in there. But back to um, where I know where everything is again now. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That word I'm looking for is organised. Organisation. I've actually uh, got myself organised again, back down on the plot again. Uh, it's Sunday now and the sun's out. It's a beautiful day this morning anyway. Uh, and I've done my uh, potatoes. I've put my Duke of York in one of the beds. I've done three rows of them, eight in a row, um, 24 in a bed. So they're, they're in. Uh, I've also done two bags of Duke of York. These are first dailies, by the way. Uh, so uh, they're in. Uh, while I was at the um, Edible Garden Show last week, I noticed some potatoes there were supposed to be blight free. Nicola, they're called, second dailies. Well, I only got 10 of them, so I've done two bags of them as well. So they're on the go. Now they're, they're in the greenhouse. Uh, as soon as they start showing, maybe three three weeks or so, I'll bring them out the greenhouse. I left them in the greenhouse too long last year and they become very uh, straggly and long. Uh, so I couldn't, uh, they weren't just, they weren't good anyway, let's put it that way. Uh, they were too much top growth and not enough potato uh, down, down in the roots. Uh, very poor crop I got, so I'm just gonna change the way I do it this year. I'm only gonna put them in there for a couple of weeks in the greenhouse or as soon as they grow just uh, uh, six or seven inches high, I'm going to get them straight out into the into the open air. Uh, so uh, that's just a few little clips I'll put together for you for this weekend. If I do any more, uh, I've got the match this afternoon. I must have mentioned this, uh, uh, Liverpool against Southampton. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed now. I don't want to mention too much about football in case Mark from Weasel Lostman's is listening because he had a bit of a rough uh, weekend last weekend. But I won't say too much, Mark. Uh, you know what I mean? Fair's fair. Uh, uh, we'll see how we go anyway, because you never know. We've got uh, Bruce Dortmund in the next round, so you might be having a laugh the weekend after. But we'll see. It was a good weekend for me. Last weekend, Edible Garden Show, Liverpool winning. And uh, so, say no more. Uh, back to the gardening. Uh, I might do a little bit more today. I don't know. Just see how the time goes. I think it's time for a cuppa now anyway. And uh, work out what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Right. Right, we're having a bit of a clean up on the plot. There's been a lot of stuff that was left here from the previous uh, occupants of the, uh, the plot. And uh, there's that much stuff. And I wasn't able to clean it last year. But this year I've decided to start sorting it out. And getting rid of it so you can see how much that was left uh, I mean there's that to be me but I'm not gonna get rid of that uh, the rubble yet because you never know I might need it but there's that much there's bins here it's just been left down the back uh, and it's just full they've been full of rubbish we're obviously not throwing the bins away we're gonna keep that but we're gonna go down to the tip and uh, get rid of as much of the rubbish as we can we decided to make a start on what we're going to hopefully be the flower bed in front of the polytunnel. Uh, we've cleared it out, we've made the sides, uh, we've dug it uh, in a fashion and now we're filling it up with, uh, with, with uh, the compost we've we found further up the uh, up the plot. Uh, it was in a big barrel, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I just thought it was full of rubbish this barrel, but when I took the top layer of the rubbish off, all the bags off it, it was full of this compost, so I'm going to fill this bed with that. Well, yesterday I had a day of cleaning up the site. Uh, a lot of tidying up in my me, uh, me man cave. So that's nice and tidy now. I know where everything is. I've also, down the plot, um, I've uh, got what I call my tool shed, which is down the bottom. Uh, 
and it was just totally unorganised. I couldn't find anything. So yesterday we uh, we emptied it totally out and uh, put everything back in where it should be in place. So uh, that's another uh, job being well done over this weekend. I've also, as I don't ever showed you, I've made myself now a flower bed in front of the uh, the polytunnel. Not again it yet, but it's all set up and filled up. Right, this morning what I'm going to hope to do, uh, I want to do me uh, plant my potatoes because I've basically got my potato bed ready. So I've got some Duke of York first dailies, so I'm going to uh, put them in there. Well. That's my first row of potatoes. Uh, the four inches down, uh, and I mix potash in with them. Yeah, and I'm going to put a bit of grow more on the top. Yeah, I've got another two rows to do in that bed, and I'll cover them over. As I say, so there's my second row in. Uh, it's the 20th of March, and I'm away next weekend, and it's uh, Easter weekend, so I wanted to do them now, but unfortunately. Uh, well, not unfortunately, uh, we're going to good friends of ours, so uh, I'll enjoy the weekend, but I need to get these in. Three rows of the Duke of York. Um, there are, there's eight to a row there, so there's 24 and that eight before bed. Uh, so now I'm just going to fill the holes and rake in, throw a bit of grow more on the top, and uh, rake that in as well. Well, that's my Duke of York in. Uh, I did uh, put horse manure at on that in uh, October, uh, covered it over and let the worms drag it in. Then, about three weeks ago, I dug it all over again and let it mix in. Uh, so, you've seen uh, the potatoes in there, and I've also uh, put a bit of organic pellet fertilizer on the top, a good, a good quantity on the top, and raked it all in. So, I'll now let nature do its uh, course, take its course. I've decided to do some Duke of Yorks in, in bags as well. Uh, I've got one, two, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten left, so I might get three bags of it earlys uh, of these Duke of York. So I'm going to um, start them now and put them in the greenhouse for a bit until they start showing and bring them out. Right, what I've decided to do because these potatoes are only small, I put two big ones on the bottom and three small ones nearly halfway up. Uh, cover them up so there's five a bag, so I should get two bags of these. It'll be interesting to see what happens. That's four bags done. Two Duke of York first dailies, and the others are Nicola second dailies. Now these are supposed to be blight free, so we'll give them a go. I got them from the uh, the garden show, edible garden show last weekend, so I thought I'd give them a go uh, and see what, how they do. Well, they're, as I say, they're second dailies, the Duke of York are first dailies. This is my second bed to be sorted out for potatoes, so. I'm possibly going to make a start on that today. Well, I managed to get two more beds here uh, dug over. Uh, that's going to be for my second lot of potatoes, as I said before. And that one over there, there's, um, it's going to be for more onions, hopefully. Uh, so I've had quite a successful weekend. I'm pleased. Peas are coming up well. One mistake, which I think it was Mark pointed out, and we saw lot once. I've drilled holes in the bottom and the roots are going to come through the bottom so <laughs> I'm going to have trouble getting them out of these gutters when it comes to sliding them out but you learn by mistakes and it won't happen next year 